Hey guys, Vladimir here. In my last video, I showed how I designed and 3D printed a threaded egg. So if you uh, watched that video, you saw how I approached this uh, using a, a very simple technique with two spline points. And then I applied some threads, you know, hollowed out the egg, applied threads, and then you can just thread it together, of course, putting some candy or toy on the inside. And I mentioned that I wanted to come back and show you how you can add text to your egg. If you know anything about how the emboss tool works, you know that this isn't just a straightforward process because you can't really emboss onto complex surfaces, right? You can only emboss on, for example, cylinders or cones. But anything created with the spline tool, for example, you won't be able to emboss directly. So in this video, I just want to show you the technique that I use to make this work. Okay, so let's go back to um, this design here. If you haven't watched my last video and you want to catch up, it's just the one right before this one. Uh, just click on my videos and you'll see it. So at this point, I've got uh, you know the top and the bottom portion here. And the approach I'm going to take here, I'm just going to kind of narrow in and just show you the technique. But I will also upload a much more detailed step-by-step -step approach to my Patreon subscribers. Um, and you can uh, check out the link below if you want to have access to that additional content. And I also include the Fusion 360 files uh, with those as well. All right, so let's talk about the technique here. Let's focus on that. So because I can't directly emboss text to this surface, what I ended up doing was first creating a cone. And after creating that cone, I could then go ahead and create a text. So I have here a plane that I created a text right on it, and you can see that. And so at this point, what I can do is go ahead and grab my emboss tool, select my text, select the face of my cone. I've got a, a two millimeter depth emboss there, and there we have it. And so now that I have that cone there, it becomes sort of an intermediate step that I need to take to transfer this text onto this surface of my egg. So basically what I'm going to do is now that I have that cone, I'm going to just delete that cone and leave me with just the text. So to do that, let me just grab the surface here. I'm going to extrude this up going, let's see, negative 35. And I did a taper angle of negative 20, but I'm going to have to go just a little bit um, more taper on there if I want to cut it away. So let's do negative 19. Oops, that's a positive 19. Let me do a negative 19 and there we have it and I'll cut away the cone leaving me with the text And now that I have that text what I can do is use my press pull tool um, To go ahead and uh, offset those faces here You'll notice that when I use my press pull tool It'll actually just automatically change to my offset face um, tool here same exact thing I'm gonna select each one of these and Let me grab this top of the eye there and I'm gonna um, offset this two millimeters you're gonna see it's gonna extend it and it's gonna follow the direction of the uh, the text there I'm gonna click OK and now if I bring in that top surface you can see that it uh, it's gonna overlap and here's a trick if I right click on that top body and go to opacity control let's go to like 70% and we'll be able to see there how it overlaps the text and that's what we want so let me go back set that back to 100 all right at this point what i'm going to do is a technique where i pretty much sort of overbuild this uh, body here and have it cut away the text to give me a uh, a contour there that follows the shape of the surface here you can see that it currently doesn't do that so uh, to do that, let me right click on the top body and I'm going to isolate it. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to create a copy. So right click down to copy and then I'm going to right click again and go down to paste. Click OK. Basically, that gave me a copy of the same body right on top of my other body. It's called top with one in parentheses. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it top bigger because I'm going to select that surface and do another press pull there and actually you'll have to grab press pull and then select the surface and make sure actually let me do that again untoggle your top and keep just the um, top bigger actually it makes more sense to call it 
bigger top instead of top bigger. Okay, top is not toggled. Modify, press pull, select that surface there. We're gonna do two millimeters. And now we see that our bigger top is slightly bigger than our regular top. And it's just this face that's bigger. The rest of it occupies the exact same face, uh, same space, I should say. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and combine the rest of these bodies here with my top. So to do that, we'll go to modify, combine, choose my target body, choose the rest of my tool bodies. And I'm gonna change this to a join for operation. Make sure keep tools is not checked, click okay. And top is now one body that includes all our letters there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take bigger top and use that to cut away the rest of our letters here, leaving us with just the shape that follows uh, the contour of our egg. And to do that, we'll simply do an intersect because what intersect is going to do is it's just gonna leave the space where those two bodies overlap. So we'll go to modify, down to combine. We'll choose our target body and our tool body, which is gonna be just our top and our bigger top. Change our operation to intersect, click okay. And if you did everything right, you should be left with just uh, the top here and everything should be one body. So, and here is what it should look like. Now, um, it might be hard to see that it's actually following the contour there, but if we go back here to our press pull tool, or in this case, our offset faces tool there, and we change this distance, um, and instead of making that offset two millimeters, let's do like, let's go really small, like a 0 0.5. And you can see that change. This is just, you can see the overlap here. Click OK. And then after it does the calculations to do that intersect, you can see that what's left is just uh, this shape here. So this should be um, about you know 0 0.5 millimeters. Um, so you can easily go back and now change it by just clicking on that feature in your timeline to change the thickness that of the text that you want. And so there you have it. And that's the approach I took to get the text to be applied to the surface of my egg there. So the main idea, just a quick recap, is we can't emboss right to a surface like this. So we first have to create a cone emboss onto that cone and then we sort of overbuild this shape which allows us to then come in and use our intersect tool to cut away the excess to allow us to just uh, keep the shape of the text here that follows the shape of the egg. So I hope that makes sense. Um, you may have to watch this a couple times to get the idea here. And of course, like I said, I'm gonna throw the full detailed step-by-step -step approach to my Patreon page and you can get that link below. I'll also include the Fusion 360 file. And the beautiful thing with that is if you wanna change the text, all you have to do is go back to your text here and change the name. Let's say uh, we're gonna give this one to Angie click OK. You'll just have to just resize this. So just bring that text box to be the size of the text. And because I constrained this to the center, um, it'll automatically be center aligned, finish sketch. Fusion will take care of doing all the calculations for those steps. And you can see that um, the name goes ahead and uh, gets applied to the egg shape here. So all right, guys, that's the tutorial for today. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, leave your questions in the comments below and I will try to answer them as best as I can. I will be back in a few with another project for you. Take care. Okay, just really quick here. I wasn't completely satisfied that my explanation there um, clearly showed how that last step was needed to get the contour of the letters here to follow the shape of the egg. Um, so I made a little more of an obvious uh, design here where all I did was in that sketch, I created this long rectangle here because since that rectangle, you know, follows more of the or shape of the egg there, it's gonna make it a little more obvious to see what's going on. So you can clearly see here, uh, in this case, that 
this shape doesn't follow the shape of the egg. In fact, it follows the shape of the cone that I made um, going in the up-down direction, right? As you can see right there. So what we're going to do here now, let me just repeat that last step and it'll be a little more obvious. Modify, uh, combine, and I'm going to select my top and my bigger top here. Operation is intersect. And you can see just in that preview now how it follows that shape. Click OK. And there you have it. So undo. You can see it. Redo. Undo. Redo. OK. I think, I think I'm more satisfied now. And of course, again, I can do the same thing. Go back, change that offset to 0.5. A lot easier to see. OK. Just wanted to come back and make that a little more clear. Alright guys, I'm done for real this time.